All right, welcome back, everyone, to our feature story tonight. Did you know that Americans spend more than $70 billion a year on their pets? And a lot of that money goes to uh, making sure that they get better health care than ever before. Stacy Delicat reports that even includes major surgeries like doggy hip replacements. Check it out. Come here, little man. He's a good boy. These days, 18 month old Percy is full of energy, but just a year ago he was struggling to walk. This is very sad. He'd been hit by a car and had been crawling around with no use of his hind legs. Percy was found injured on the streets of the Bahamas and was rescued by a local organization who flew him to New York. That's where Trish Chinitz adopted him. He underwent one surgery to remove part of the damaged bone in his hip, but it wasn't entirely effective. He was in so much pain and was not at all able to use his leg um, as you would hope that he could. During physical therapy at the Animal Medical Center, Percy and Trish came to meet surgeon Dr. Rob Hart, who suggested a total hip replacement. We had no idea you could do a hip replacement for a dog. Hip replacement in dogs and cats began in the 1950s, but has become more popular as technology has evolved. Dr. Hart does 50 to 60 a year at the Animal Medical Center. So we're doing basically one or two a week. It is becoming more popular because people are starting to expect the same kind of health care that they get for themselves or their family members for their pets. The procedure is basically done by removing the ball off the end of the thigh bone and removing some of the marrow bone. This stem with a ball on it is then inserted down into the bone and pounded or hammered into position. The next part of the procedure is to take this cup, which is a plastic piece with a metal backing and put that into the original cup position of the hip. It looks simple, but Dr. Hart says the 90-minute technical procedure takes precision. Afterwards, the dog has full range of motion of the hip. The day after the surgery was completed, he walked out using all four legs. That's one of the amazing things about total hip replacement is that it revolutionizes a pet's experience. They go from having a painful hip and two weeks later you meet them again and they're pain free. Dr. Hart says the success rate of the procedure is above 95 percent and artificial hips in dogs last much longer than they can in humans. With dogs, their lifetime is shorter, so we can do total hip replacement earlier in life and it will last their entire lifetime. The cost ranges between $3,500 and $6,000 at the Animal Medical Center, though pet insurance can offset that cost. But watching your dog gallivant around pain-free, that's priceless. Worth every penny. To see the difference, of in, the difference in the dog that he is, it's not a thought. Not yeah. a moment's regret. Hip replacement isn't the only orthopedic procedure available to pets. In fact, ankle and knee replacement surgeries are becoming more and more popular for dogs. They're two procedures that Dr. Hart hopes to bring here to the Animal Medical Center in the near future. On the east side, I'm Stacy Delicat. Ernie, back to you. All right, Stacy, thank you very much. Look who's back. Our guest is here, Dr. Heather Lenzer from the American Animal Hospital Association. Good to see you again. I love being here. I know. We love yeah. talking about our pets. I mean, you know, they are family members. They, they really are. are. People love their dogs, of course. And, you know, when you talk about hip replacement, you usually think about humans, of course. But, mm -hmm. you know, this is becoming more common with dogs. It's, it is. And yeah. just like Dr. Hart said, it's because people are really expecting great care for their pets. Mm -hmm. And this owner did an amazing job picking the AMC, not only because they're a fantastic hospital, they're also accredited by the American Animal Hospital Association. There you go. And these hospitals, there's tons of them in Manhattan. You can find them at aaha.org okay. and see if you can find someone in your area to help. Okay, but this is a very important issue. It is. Let's talk about it a little bit. Okay, yeah. This is a genetic thing, as you were telling me, right? It is. So you'll know if your dog has serious hip problems by right. the time they're about age two. Mm -hmm. So if your older dog is starting to have difficulty standing up, difficulty running, jumping on the couch, that's not hip dysplasia. That's a very important distinguishing factor. Okay, what uh, is that? Factor. Arthritis? That's arthritis. Arthritis, yeah. And so your veterinarian can help manage arthritis mm -hmm. with pain medications, acupuncture, stem cell therapy. There's tons of different ways There's we can manage can arthritis there, right? in older dogs. But you dogs. also need x-rays here, right, to you find do. out if the dog has You do, and need. actually the way that they diagnosed, uh, that we diagnose hip dysplasia is I actually ha brought an x-ray with me today, mm -hmm, sure. and this one is before right. surgery. So mm -hmm. we have the two leg bones that should be touching the pelvis, which looks like an H there. Yes, yes, You can, I can see, see they're that. not. And also, if you look really carefully, the balls of that, of mm -hmm. the thigh bone yeah. aren't round, they're square. So what you would do with a hip replacement, and you can see 
see in the next slide is there's it's bright white oh, on the yeah. left hand side there there's a bright white ball and that's the metal ball that gets right. implanted and now the joint moves smoothly nice how long does that last it's about 15 years 15 years yeah. that's great and so since our animals we wish they live longer than that but mm -hmm. that can often be the the implant can outlive the dog at times and there are a number of surgeries per year right we just heard some statistics they're annually in, yeah they're and they're in the thousands now thousands. now there's 300,000 a year for people right so <laughs> yeah, we haven't right. quite caught up with people but advances in things like um, pet insurance mm -hmm. make this so much more affordable absolutely to people. so if you have a young dog I, I would really get pet insurance for there that. you go it can really pay for itself dr. Heather Lenza thank you so much for being here always good to have you nice okay to be take here. care of our pets thank you I love thank you it. okay